there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport for today we we'll continue on Let's Play and this is episode 151. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Acura LMP2 Showcase. For that we need an Acura because the game does not say you need an LMP2, however there's only a couple of Acuras that will actually get to R1 class. This is one of them, the 2008 Acura number 15 Lowe's Fernandez ARX01B. Uh, because it's R1 it's already upgraded to where we need it to be. And what we will do for the purposes of anything involving the LMP cars is I am going to shift the damage and fuel wear to cosmetic because when these cars get yeah. damaged, which is incredibly easy, they lose all speed, so it's just not worth it. How about you? Uh, I'm very, very tired. <laughs> I have been... You are already we are tired yesterday, you're tired today. I, I'm less tired than I was yesterday. I don't feel like I'm going to die today. <laughs> but I had to wake up early for a funeral, so oh, that was all fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I'm doing this because we have three episodes left for this, and there's not going to be enough judges during the week. So, that's why yeah. we're that's gone with you. here. Through the bit. Yes. Nice and then control. this is going to be done, and I can fuck off to the Never Realm to produce something else for a bit. And chill a bit, I guess too. Well, mm. oh I mean, god, I've caused. Okay, that's why we don't. Hmm. That's not the reason I turned damage on cosmetic. However, it's probably a good thing I did. I apparently mm. decided to pass the Maldonado the grid. So, good on me. The best F1 driver was the guy who failed to qualify and... Oh yeah, the guy who sneaked onto the grid. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think even Mahavia would have made that move. Mahavia was stupid, but I don't think he was that stupid. Why are they so slow through that corner? And why is this car so loud? <laughs> I mean, I no idea, yeah, I mean. Ludo, energy, come on. Yeah, I mean, um... Prep yourself uh, all. Yeah. Play some loud pornography. Nah. Have your neighbours got a letter box? I guess, I need to, yeah. Okay, right, stick an MP3 player through there that exclusively plays pornography. Or even better, just record your laugh on a track and just get it to constantly repeat. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, nah, I won't do that. Lord past the mountain, Nardo. Compels yeah. you, yes. The greatest of all, past the mountain, Nardo. I'm also proving why the AI is incredibly awful at Road America. I mean, it seems that it's not only the eye that is awful. Well, the track's pretty awful, but... Ludo Energy. I don't think Ludo yeah, is starting his own energy company. Yeah, no. No, yeah. The worst That's... bit is, to most people, Ludo sounds like a weird name, so they think it would be an energy co company, but it's pretty common in French-speaking countries. Yeah, yeah, not that much those days, but uh, it used to, I think. Ludovic, or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it sounds weird yeah, to us because yeah. we've never heard that word before. Yeah, I mean, it's like some of your names are weird to us because we never heard it before, too. <laughs> well, I'd, well, our names sound weird to you because some of the letters don't exist in the French language, I don't think. No, I, I mean, letter does exist. It's, it's no, I mean, like, it, the whole, like, the way they're pronounced doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I meant. Yeah, the way they're pronounced, it's not pronounced the same. I think it's... Names beginning with J or something like that. There's some big yeah, issues with. I forget this track exists. Most people forget this track exists. Also, name with H. We don't pronounce H the same way, so. <laughs> so, what does Hannah turn into? Hannah? Oh, that sounds pretty English. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not the best example to try to butcher English. Have we been too. Have we been too... I don't know. 
This is the new recording session, by the way. I just want to point that out. This is not a continuation yeah. of what happened the previous night. We're just yeah, dead. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, he started like uh, ten minutes ago. Yeah. But, what, but for an intro, started the race uh, while watching a bit the intro, but then botched the race, so he started again. Yeah, I'm just really not into it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking pay up. Make it See, the key is make the last episode really. Like, well, I would say the key ingredients to make the last episode really bad, but like, the, uh, the last time we ended Forza 4 for a bit was um, for. It was with one of the championship episodes, and that episode was absolutely awful because it was just me and Scotian running out of things to say to each other. Yeah. Hey, at least you got a cool finish. I guess. Sedona! So oh, the best track in Sir the world. Sir right? let's go away. <laughs> <laughs> Super seducer oh, at Sedona, and it's and it's that layout too. Oh god. Well, if I was to make an honest prediction, I don't think Nicholas Hamilton will ever score a point again in BTCC. I mean, I could be wrong. I, you know, I'm sure I got proven wrong by saying that he never would. Last time he did, but you know, did he ever did he ever score a point? Yeah, he did score a point at well, Brands Hatch when everyone else broke down. Yeah, at least I think, think there was only sixteen cars on the grid, or sixteen cars left, of the, like a field of thirty. So, I mean, yeah, at least there is something. He beat the female that showed up the other day. Oh. Um. Yes. He's got some one issue with him. I and mean, he obviously has, otherwise Lewis would have probably paid him to get a seat in F1 by this point. I mean, I, at, at least I guess, I hope he's... he's I'm sure, uh, as Lewis. Yeah, I'm sure if Nicholas Hamilton like, wasn't disabled, Lewis would have probably paid for a seat for him at Williams by this point. Yeah. So. I mean, can... can we don't be well on Latifi. Latifi outscored Russell yesterday. D did he again? Yeah, he out positioned him. I mean, uh, I think he might have out qualified him as well. I I I was I was Actually, tired. No, and, I I was tired and uh, barely and barely watched the race. I mean, I kept I missed the first like 19 laps because I forgot that Russia was way earlier. Yeah, it was quite early. Because I got the race highlight thing for at like four o'clock. Yeah, Nick Hamilton Which, shouldn't be driving. Yeah, and, and sadly I missed uh, Hamilton being mad at getting a 10 second penalty. I mean, two times five. Yeah, Twitter was going weird over that. Oh, well, Kimmy yes. moaned about having a penalty, and it's like. that. It's fucking heat of the moment shit. You'd probably be angry if you got handed a yeah. penalty with no idea what you was. You know, and in fairness, I've now watched a full radio thing, and Lewis got told like, "Yeah, yeah, go to the end of the pit lane to make yeah. you start, as long as I mean, other cars can go past," which apparently was a violation. I mean, there is like, I mean, I, I can only if I can only think of two people that wouldn't get too mad. Like it's uh, it's uh, Kimi because he doesn't get mad. At Kimi does get mad. He got mad yeah. at that fucking guy last time, didn't he? Oh yeah, for, I forgot. We have a five second penalty for what? Why? So, so we have a five what? second penalty yeah. for what? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no, no, actually no, yeah, it was Ricardo which also got one in the race and was like, oh, okay, we'll drive faster. Did you <laughs> see um, the, oh, God, what was it? The one from Silverstone. Oh no, no. Where it it sounded like... Kimmy just said something, but it sounded like a completely different language, and amazingly, the engineer understood it. He was like, hey, can you give me the, the on the tire? He was like, yes, yes, that come on tires. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds really weird when you... I think it's the video is called, like, What Language Is Kimmy Speaking, or something like that. And you listen to it, and it sounds like complete gibberish. But someone has actually managed to like figure out what he's actually attempting to say. It was something about tires. I guess they like uh, they are like used to him. He seems to go along well with the cell, but guys. Yeah. The YouTube channel is good as well. You you get to see him in Italian Jesus. They seem to get along quite well. So. 
Happy Ages. Jesus, a Nazi, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, I wonder which. Like I wonder which one of those are, is going to, to, to leave at the end. Jesus, a Nazi. Maybe not. Oh, I don't think he's. No. I mean, yeah, it's been. Two, I think it's been two or three seasons that he's been with them. Two. Good. He was in 2019 two. as well. Yeah. And I'm not being funny. The Ferrari engine was decent-ish in 2019. Yeah. So. I mean, I mean, let's let's try it was OP. Well, yeah, because like, it had the weird battery. Yeah, thing yeah, but I mean, on. yeah, but I mean, honestly, that's for the unreal. Uh, yeah. So I didn't. Yeah, Ferrari was better. Well, the engine was yeah. good and better and the, OP. The, 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 the car was better. The driver where 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 the problem. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear how the Ferrari Academy works, as you get the Sauber seat and they either like yeah. you or just... That's it. Yeah, I mean... I mean, you either do what Leclerc did, which is impress, or you do what Giovinazzi yeah. did, which is... Well, I mean, he's definitely not getting a Ferrari seat anytime soon, is he? I mean, yeah... The, 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 not the, unless, the, like, the, Carlos Sainz leaves. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 they, they want to get Carlos Sainz off of McLaren instead of him, so yeah, that, that, should, that, says, it, that says it all. <laughs> Well, it's done, isn't it? It's a done deal now. Because yeah, he's yeah. going to Ferrari and um, Teethman's going to McLaren. Yeah. And Alonso is coming back to Rona for some reason. AK probably is a better driver than Nicholas Hamilton. Not by much, though. He's definitely a better driver than Andy Neat. I mean, hey, uh, uh, at least, at least AK, if he does bad, he will shout something nobody will understand. Yeah, it'll probably be AK's downfall is he needs to learn to shut up sometimes in a race car. Yeah. Click the drink button, you will not have the drink. I, I, imagine putting AK in BTCC and giving him off. <laughs> that will end well. Well, if they ever ask what his credentials are, you can see he was ETTC champion. Yeah. I think he was, anyway. Might have been, I mean. Well, Rhino was the champion of Season 2. Yeah. I think AK won Season 1. I mean, actually, I don't know. I wasn't there in Season 1, and I didn't really watch it, so... Um... It was either him or a guy that we had racing for us called Prod AMG, who was like yeah. top tier. But I mean, AK had the. What was it? AK had the Scirocco, which was basically the OP car for that season. Yeah, I, I, uh, I Mind you, Ra uh, Rhino and Prod had the BMW, which was probably the second OP car of that season, so. And then I had the focus, which was crap. Because <laughs> it the differential didn't work properly. Actually, I would like to see AK in a race car on a race track. Oh yeah, AK won like every race of your V8 supercars apart from the Monza race where me and him just played bumper cars. Oh yeah, that thing too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mueller's got a new idea. I don't know if it ever comes to fruition. But you you get people to do the race the race thing and you get in. Well, he wants to do like eighties cars. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got oh, some yeah. tunes. They drive reasonably well. I mean, I, I need to reinstall for the seven and don't know the one. Can't because remember. They... What cars it is? I think it's like. I oh, think there is like a Civic and. You know, yeah, like Civic, a... Cadet, Fiesta, a yeah. Marth One Thirty One, and Renault Five. Yeah. I think. I, I yeah, I just like to need, like don't don't look for the seven again. That's what I need to do. Okay. Might be fun. Yeah, I will see if he doesn't, but I doubt it. Remember when Rhino was gonna start his series? Ha <laughs> oh, ha yeah. And then he didn't. Yeah, the Clio cut. Yeah. Did those cars, to, to be fair, I don't think that would have worked because those cars were like yeah. way overbuilt. Didn't you work for that for a lot and then never? No. 
I think he just tuned the cars, gave them out to a few people and gave up. Yeah, no, AK did win season one. I think just let the Scirocco back in, but apparently not. If I ever did it again, that would probably be like a thing you could do, I'd imagine. Just for fun, I'd leave like the season two cars up and import the season one cars over. So you get like a pick. <laughs> yeah. So. Hmm. To be honest with you, I might do that. I don't know. I don't know if I've got time or effort. I, mean, I, think, I think I'd rather just shoot myself, but then again, I need yeah. seven content. So. I think so, it's more like motivation because oh, the last time you did something. Well, like I know exactly what it would be. Yeah. It would I mean, be a five race season, there would be no ifs or buts on that one. Hey, at least good good thing about it, there mm. is some people that focus on the there there anymore. It would be a five race season, and I would probably introduce some new spec free cars. But it, basically, what I'd what it'd be is I'd introduce like five races that be three, three or four spec three cars, and spec two still exists. Yeah. I guess give the spec threes a slight advantage, but not by much. Well, yeah, the round based thing. I don't know. Ten rounds work last time. I guess I don't. know. Yeah, ten runs. Uh, that's that's a lot. Yeah, I mean it'd just be brands hatch and shit. So, anyways, see, bring full. Ten rounds might be good only if it's like you do two each time. Like, it's only five weeks yeah. total. Yeah. So it's only a five week series. Yeah, it might work. I wouldn't record it or anything though. Like do the race highlights thing. To be honest with you, what I'd like to do is set it up and run it autonomously and then just be a commentator watching it, but... Eh. Yeah, I, I'd just rather, instead of, like, participating in it, I'd rather just, like, watch it and commentate over it. But... If there's a Civic, I've got to drive a Civic, ain't I? Yeah, you have to. No, yeah, exactly. I can't even think what cars would be. <laughs> New Civic, the Hyundai was in last time. I don't know. Why am I thinking about this actually legitimately? Is, 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 the, is the Megan arresting? Oh, wait, no, that's the proper. Uh, the Clio? We'll do it in Horizon 4. I Horizon 4, okay. Yeah, we'll do it in Horizon 4 and it's only um, different variations of that fucking Hot Wheels track. Also, the Lego track. Yeah. Hey, the, the Clio, if, which I heard something funny about, I mean about the, you know, the fucking transmission of the Clio and the Megan, the, the electronic shit. Yeah. Apparently it gets, it gets stuck in, in auto mode nice. for days. Imagine the fun. Mhm. Mm yeah, Horizon 4 one might not be a bad idea. I don't know. Yeah. Because there's actually like different cars and shit in it. Do like Civic. Wide picture is probably Civic, Megan. It wouldn't be the Megan to put a full for that. No. Not if it's going up against the FK8 Civic. Oh yeah. So like FK Civic, the Megan RS, the Sentra, just as being an oddball car. Um, I'm trying to think of all cars that are in that game. Is there a different? No, there's not a newer Volkswagen in that game, is there? Uh, I think it, it's like the seven seven gen Golf R, the Max that you got. I think. Yeah, I think it's the 7th gen. Um, I'd have to have a look at the full, like, hot hatch list in that game. PS3? Nah. 
no, 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 no. Is there no, a different? Also, is there a new Citroen in that game? No, I don't think so. Also, I just I just remember that that guy is a, is a no no because not everyone will have it because it's not something you can get easily. Well, technically, no one would have the Megane R. But this stuff's pretty cheap to buy on the auction house now. Though. Yeah, the only car's really worth anything now, ever. Uh... I wonder if I'd be able to balance an eye pace and stick that in as like a weird oddball car you could use. Maybe, maybe. And like maybe the Range Rover Velar. Because the, the, the Evoke was supposed to be in B. That might be a fun idea, actually, maybe. I don't what, know. I like this. Wait, what, what, what are you going to say to Ava? What's supposed to be? Where? Just call it like an ETCC Street yeah. Series or something like that. Yeah. Because World Touring Cars runs on streets. I wonder if Rhino would be interested in that. He's got Horizon 4, right? Yeah, I think yeah, he does. Alright, I'll speak to him, I guess, and speak to Akers. The only problem is I don't know how to set cars up for Horizon. I mean, but a lot more people have Horizon 4 as well. Yeah, I mean, unless, as, I, as, I, as we said earlier, like, you do that short thing in like five, five races. Yeah, then... like five, six round championships, something like that. Make one of the rounds the um, fucking silly car showdown course. <laughs> yeah. Because that course yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, like, you, can, you as you said, you can use some of the, um, the, the courses on the Lego thing. Yeah, it's just a case of getting everyone into the Lego thing. Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, uh, well, oh, that's it for this episode. I'll discuss this more in the yeah, next episode. Uh, join us for more brainstorming as we take a look at the Peugeot R1 showcase. Join us for that. Until oh, then, good. farewell.